Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Hi. Oh, it's been an interesting week. Let me just say that. I get my cords untangled here. This Sunday Morning Coffee episode is a video if you're watching. Hello. Hi, nice to see you. There's a reason for that. My week has been pretty crazy. So yesterday and culminating in the, the new moon. All right. So there was a new moon energy. Anybody else feel that? Anybody raise your hand? <laughs> yes, that would be me. I definitely felt that. So oh, Friday, interesting day, Saturday, you know, good days, but interesting. And then so much energy yesterday, so much energy. <laughs> On Saturday, I was so just feeling everything. And I literally felt like, you know how when you uh, order some buffalo wings, like the hot, hot buffalo wings, like the really spicy ones, and you know they're going to be spicy, but you kind of underestimate your ability to tolerate that much hotness. <laughs> That's how it was like yesterday. It was good, but it was ha oh, ha oh, oh, spicy. <laughs> okay. So, and I'm nothing in particular happened. Nothing in particular. I didn't go any place in particular or anything like that. It just literally is the energy. So I attribute it to the new moon and the new moon is about mystery, about planting seeds, about dreaming, about making wishes. And for me, she was definitely about, I think, feeling, you know, feeling into a different understanding of maybe being an empath where you feel so much energy and process so much energy all the time. It, it can seriously be overwhelming, as you well know, and then it's hard to feel for fun. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to eat those hot buffalo wings and know they're going to taste good, but they're going to burn the crap out of your mouth. <laughs> you know, it's like that. So, <sighs> that's how I'm arriving in <laughs> to Sunday morning coffee today. So what happened was last night, I ended up falling asleep. Literally, it was like six o'clock in the evening. I'm not kidding. And I thought, oh, I'll just take a, I'll just close my eyes a bit. And I listen, I was listening to a, an audio with wave sounds and I'll just listen to that and just relax and for a bit, maybe do a meditation, but maybe just be here, just kind of relax my, my body and myself here. And so I was doing that and I fell asleep and I fell asleep until about 12.30, like I fell asleep. And actually when I woke up and I lifted up my phone, it was one o'clock, 1.08 to be exact, 1.08 a.m. And hubby had come to bed a little bit earlier than that. He, he stays up late anyway. I get up early, he stays up late. I kind of have a weird schedule that way. But I mean, that was hardcore, like solid sleep, right? So, I did not record Sunday morning coffee and audio. And I said, oh, I'll just record it on a video. So here's the video. All that to say, that's a very long intro. <laughs> here's the video. By the way, I know you're watching Sunday morning coffee on Above Life channel or listening here on Above Life channel. Did you know that I have a, another YouTube channel called Fairy Grasshopper? It's a vlog channel and this kind of conversation that I've been having with you the past few minutes is part of what I share in the vlog parts of my Fairy Grasshopper channel. It's actually a place where I share intuitive videos and other different kinds of channeling sessions like with angels or afterlife um, like um, spirit guides and things like that. And I talk about intuitive topics like crystal grids or past lives or um, just all sorts of things. This week, um, I'm going to be sharing a video about shadow and that's something that I really wanted to talk to you about. So I think we'll make that the focus of our conversation today. All right. Is shadow. And the reason why I chose 
shadow to talk about is because it is something that I've been working with a lot lately. And I wanted to bust some myths about shadow. Shadow is just a buzzword, I think, that has been kind of caught up in some marketing for divine feminine and um, spiritual businesses and things maybe have used the term shadow in a way that has made it almost kind of like catchphrasey or something. And I wanted to talk to you about the myths of the shadow and how shadow isn't this place of resistance that if you can just go there into this shadow place and just face your fears and deal with your resistance, everything will be magically perfect in your life, transformed in an instant. And so that's a myth. Just because you face your shadows, it doesn't mean your life's going to be magically perfect, transformed in a minute. Another myth or misperception of shadow is that it's deep and negative. Shadow can be deep, but it also can actually be just very surface level. Uh, shadow can just be as simple as a trigger, something that annoys you, something that bugs you over and over again, a reoccurring pattern that you are aware of already, but maybe haven't really considered it to be a shadow or a place where you actually have opportunity for improvement. So shadow doesn't have to be super, super deep, okay? Shadow doesn't have to be hard either. It doesn't have to be sweaty and muddy and raw and naked and bloodied and battle-like warrior. Shadow does not have to be you fighting yourself. Please, oh, gods and goddesses out there, hear this, hear me now. Shadow is not about fighting yourself. It's about laying down your weapons, laying down your sharp-tongued words and, and, and belittlement of yourself. It's, it's about laying down the intensity of the battles, of the fighting. Like, the shadow is where you recover. It's not where you cause yourself more pain to prove your worthiness. This is not the Olympic Games. Shadow is not the Olympics. So shadow does not have to be deep and hard, okay? And another myth that I think is really common is that shadow is where you prove yourself, you prove your value. If you can just face your fears and this, this hidden, whatever this hidden mystery monster is that's keeping you off your path and keeping you from everything that you want to accomplish or from something special, Shadow is not a monster keeping you from your dreams. Shadow is not a, how do I say this? It's not the place that you have to show your stuff, strut your stuff, get your courage, show me your muscles. It's not that place to prove yourself and your worthiness. Don't you think you have struggled enough in your human life experience to prove your worth, to get the recognition from that teacher for that first prize in that writing competition or to get the acknowledgement of your mother on how beautiful you look on your wedding day or to get the honor of the, the promotion at work, the acknowledgement and recognition from your boss. You're constantly doing that. We are, you and I both, we're doing that. That's kind of how we learned how to know ourselves and our value or our worth. And when you work with shadow, it's not about that. That's a human ego thing. The proving of the value, the showing your muscles, the strutting your stuff. Look at me, I'm so great. I am so confident and strong. That is a human thing. You can be confident and strong in a heartfelt, beautiful, supportive way for yourself. And the shadow work, which the word shadow sounds so like mystic, folklore, like dark fairy tale, like evil. It's not. <laughs> it's like. Your shadow is when you're walking along the sidewalk and it's a beautiful sunny day and you have a shadow, it's another part of yourself. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's like the shade under the tree. It provides a canopy. 
It can provide a safe, sacred space for you to explore and work within yourself. It can be a respite place for you. It can be a place for you to really love yourself, to let yourself free from some of these restricted thought and presentations that we have to do like when we're in human life, when we're the parent at the sporting event or the employee of the organization representing the organization at a job fair or um, whatever it might be for you. It's the shadow can be a place where it's just quiet. It can be quiet. And yes, there is resistance there. But guess what? Resistance isn't something waiting to sneak out and attack you like a monster. That's not what shadow is. It's just the opportunity to love yourself, to know yourself and love yourself. So it's really kind of a place of the bridge of like acceptance between what you think you are, who you think you are, and who you know you are at your core. And the friction between the two is because of the outside world and this 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 need to control a perception of you from others. And that's just what it is. And that everybody does that. It's I do that, you do that, everybody does that. And I, I think it's really important to talk about the shadow as far as like the shadow and the light. It's the balance. Like think of yourself literally walking down the sidewalk with the beautiful sunshine on your face and it feels warm. And for some of you, I know you don't like the heat, so not too hot for some of you, but for me, it's like blazing hot blazing humid hot <laughs> walking on the street and then your shadows there it's another part of yourself it's not a bad part who's to say that me in the sun is the good part <laughs> you know just because you can see it doesn't mean um it's it's all you know you can take it at face value kind of a thing you know what i mean like maybe the shadow part is the truest part of ourselves and that's the place where our self-love through that bridging of acceptance, it, it creates kind of a lessening of the gap between who we think we are and who we're trying to be in our expression in human terms for the acceptance of society or outside or how we think the rules are as far as human humaning, being human, and who we are in our heart space and the tender parts of us that we hold back because we don't want other people to judge those things because we just don't think we could handle that. And I know what that's like. I know as an empath, I know what that's like. Try being very empathic and sensitive, highly sensitive, and starting a YouTube channel. It, let me tell you, is an adventure. There's a lot of shadow there, <laughs> a lot of shadow. You look at, you think about how you look, you think about how you sit, you think about if you've gained weight or if you have a saggy skin or what, you know what I mean? What are people looking at or what are they noticing, you know? I mean, now that I say that, you guys are going to be like zooming it. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Please, please. <laughs> Just being transparent because that's what we are here at Sunday Morning Coffee, Above Life Channel, Fairy Grasshopper. When you're with Bridget, we are real. So this shadow stuff, it's not meant as an obstacle course either. I think it's really meant as a safe place for us. Like when you turn off the lights and you look outside on a new moon night and you notice how dark it is and quiet and you see the stars and they seem particularly bright because the moon isn't shining. So it's the stars turn to be lit up. They are seen. That's kind of what the shadow is. It can be a calm place to be seen and to notice things. And from my personal experience in the, working in the shadow, there's clarity here and it's not bad. And it's not, please, please know this. This is the last myth I wanna bust about the shadow. You are not trying to overcome something. When you're trying to overcome a part of you that you think is flawed or a broken piece, trying to glue it back together or overcome a challenge, those are the ways that we, we talk about in humankind, right? In, in our human lives, we talk about those kinds of overcoming an obstacle. And some of those stories are beautiful to hear, right? People's personal stories about overcoming difficult times, etc., transcending hard times, what have you. You do not, you absolutely 
do not need to work with shadow and please don't don't start working with shadow and and thinking it is the answer to and if you just work harder it's not the answer to your problems and it's not the you just haven't worked hard enough response okay you've worked plenty hard okay this heart space is all your heart space is always working just like your heart is always pumping pumping right pumping the blood and keeping things going autopilot your empathic heart is pumping pumping keeping things going flowing with energies that most of them aren't yours so when you slip into the shadow the quiet space when you slip into that side what you're actually doing is giving yourself permission to quiet the outside and to sort through what is yours and what isn't yours. And maybe I think it's natural to be afraid of what you might find out about yourself. But I can tell you, you probably don't have any major skeletons in your closet or any massive, horrible things that you don't know about that's unconscious or past life experiences that are horrific or something. You probably don't have that. If you haven't remembered that in your human consciousness by now, you ain't gonna probably remember that. And so don't be afraid of, of what you are or who you are, because that's, that's how you really know yourself. And that's what the shadow's for, is that quiet time. And it's yours. Nobody else's resistance is there. Nobody else's higher self is there. Nobody else's voices are there. And if they are, if the, you start to notice that or feel that in the shadow, because you went in there because of a trigger that reminded you of something your mom used to say or your teacher used to say or your ex-husband, that's mine, by the way. You might as well know my ex-husband thing. That's a thing that for me, that's part of a, a trigger and a, how I'm working with my shadow and my patterns and going into myself and loving myself, remembering things and exchanges and experiences and, and realizing that I've grown and that I've grown into a different person and my spirit is completely free to make choices for myself today. And my spirit just wraps me with a cozy blanket and we sip some, I want to say cocoa. I'm going to say coffee, but like the fancy stuff, you know, and just look at the stars. You know, that's what we would do on the new moon. That's what we would do. So the shadow is kind of like a blanket for it, a blanket for it, <laughs> for adults, for you, just you and your your shadow and your higher self chilling and you might be surprised because you might find that your shadow is actually your higher self helping you in the cognito mode right in the mystic mode so do not be afraid of the shadow please and don't buy all the spiritual hype about you gotta be tough and you gotta be primal and you gotta be intense no sometimes people do have deep experiences that's that's that can happen but it's not usually necessary for everyone to have deep intense and force yourself into some hard experiences to prove your value or worth. It just it doesn't make sense. And to have a trusted advisor on the path is essential. A favorite shaman, a spiritual energy healer that you work with, a spirit guide, be it metaphysical or physical. And I'm happy to be that for you. I am. Um, maybe here on YouTube on Above Life channel just by watching the videos or binging on your Sunday morning coffee episodes or maybe on YouTube on Fairy Grasshopper, maybe. Maybe that, maybe I can help you feel that support there. So this is Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. Thanks so much for being here. Cheers today. Don't forget you can get your merch below <laughs> in the links. <laughs> I know, I'm so cheesy, Ernie. Hmm. The best way to be, my friends. Hey, I hope I've inspired your spirit with this very real conversation today. Filled you up with some hope. Maybe shifted some of your perspectives about this concept of shadow work. Ooh, before I go, I should mention, check out the video. Check out the On Above Life channel. If I think about it, I'll put the link in the description here but if i don't debbie ford she's a spiritual teacher and she might be under the playlist for spiritual teachers or psychics and spiritual teachers i have a playlist on above life channel you can look at that 
and Debbie Ford. She is known for her work with shadow and she's in the afterlife. So you got an expert right there you can meditate with, connect with and, and learn about her processing or experience and understanding of the, sh of the shadow. All right. Hey, thanks for being here. Oh, I have to mention one more thing. So my crazy week, by the way, the reason why I'm sitting here and you saw me kind of walk into the shot and you're going to see me leave, exit the shot, exit, stage left. I am, um, I, I scratched my camera. I managed somehow on my relatively new iPhone that is not covered under any kind of <laughs> warranty protection plan. I managed to scratch right in the front and it's not supposed to be scratchable like this glass is supposed to be like practically bulletproof right over the top of the lens of the camera just just a little hash mark kind of with the front facing camera fascinating totally fa I don't know what I'm going to do about it yet because it's a very expensive fix <laughs> so we'll see for now this is what you might be dealing with so I actually had to put on some decent pants that would match my shirt in order to film this video just for you early on this Sunday morning coffee episode. <laughs> oh, silly. All right. Hey, have a great day, you guys.